What's going on, my guys? This is Josh, aka Peace for Me, and I'll find you to reviews again. We're going to be trying for the second time doing live action, a live audio commentary for Avengers Infinity War. If you saw what I posted on my community tab, we did this yesterday, but it didn't really work out too well, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And tomorrow we'll be doing Avengers Endgame. And I'm talking like this because mainly because I don't wanna I don't want to wake up my older sister even though so we got one person watching. I hope you enjoy this. So today is Avengers Infinity War. We're going to try it again. If you have the movie on Disney Plus or 4K or Blu-ray or DVD or digital copy, feel free to watch along. I hope you enjoy it. I am at zero minutes, zero seconds. So we're going to start countdown and f be sure to comment down below while you're watching or while this is over. Because at comments and questions, I will be taking some questions here and some questions for Avengers in game tomorrow. So you guys, I hope you enjoy it. And here we are in 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pressing play right now. And if you're wondering where I'm doing this, I'm doing this through StreamYard on my phone. And I'm watching the movie through Google Chromebook. So let's get started. So here we are. The opening Marvel logo, which I really, I love this logo. I like all the Marvel Studios logos, but this one is my favorite. All the superheroes, Captain America, First Avenger, Asgardian, Scarlet Witch, Falcon. Just judging by the tone of this by the music that you hear at the beginning of this, you easily know what movie this is going to be. Ten years. Actually, 11 years now, actually. So here we are. We are on Fruit War Thor Ragnarok a little left off, because chronologically this takes place after Thor Ragnarok. So, we are. Ships are leaving. Idris Elba is Hemdel. Ebony Ma. Most of the people on the ship that were leaving are dead. That does mean... Personally, Lady Sif is dead. <clears throat> Ebony Ma and Proxima Midnight. Tom Hilson's Loki. Great, great character. I really do love Loki. He's awesome. Josh Borland Thanos. Big bad that all of the first half of the Infinity Era has led to. Chris Hemsworth is Thor with the Thor Ragnarok haircut. And Thanos has one of the Infinity Stones, and wow. 
judging from the opening here, you can tell what kind of movie. And judging from the tone here, Thanos is just he's using one of the stones to torture his brother. Unless he gives him the Tesseract, which I think the Russo's and, and, and the writers do a good job at, at, at handling. And Thor is telling his brother to give him the Tesseract. This was 10 years of payoff. Who's the fan of the whole? Fighting Thanos. It's always nice to see some Hulk action. I know some people were disappointed that they didn't get to see Hulk fight Thanos again in Avengers Endgame, but you guys have to remember he was Professor Hulk and he was at that point in that movie, which we'll talk about tomorrow, that he has. In those previous five years since the inevitable snap, which we'll get into later on in this movie, that he has made peace with the Hulk side of him, Bruce Banner. And here Thanos is just took him out, and then Chris Hemsworth trying to beat him, and he's a guy's ass, man, so Here is Ebony Ma is forcing Thor to watch his friend Hemdall die at the hands of Ebony Ma. And you always know something that and you always notice that in most of these superhero movies that they always have to kill the black superhero. Yeah. Marvel fan forty five. Hello. Hello, Marvel fan. You could tell this is a very emotional sad heartbroken moment for Thor as Hemdall gives his life. And he's sending and he's about to send him out. And they got the Tesseract and they're about to leave. Thanos is, was, is very well done to CG motion capture. Josh Bowen did a really good job. And he's here, he's putting the pieces of the Tesseract together. And here we are, here in this moment. And I know he has two of the Infinity Gauntlets now. This is a pretty intense moment here. And Tom Hilson <laughs> always is cracking jokes, which is never a bad thing in the MCU movie. I know a lot of people have problems with the comedy here. We're 10 minutes into the live stream and 8 minutes into the film. 
Loki's getting ready to sacrifice himself for his only brother, which this is why I constantly keep saying that Loki should stay permanently dead. But I guess need more Marvel Studios. They don't want to let Tom Hiddleston go that easily because Tom Hiddleston is awesome. So we have one person who's commented so far. I know you guys you guys are here and he's choking the life out of, so, out of his brother. You t you gotta say, this is real emotion. The Russos and Christopher Marcus and Steve McFeely, they didn't play around when they said there was gonna be some 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 people dying. They did meant it. Ooh, that got that's gotta hurt. If this does well, I might do in game as well. I might do in game as well in one. So if this does well, I might do both movies to get to today. Blowing up. They just blew up the place and they're about to leave. Great CGI, Industrial Light Magic, Weta, all the special effects companies I have to give a lot of credit to for this. Very well done moment. Very well done. Now, our solar system, which is our sun, and you see there, Hulk is being shipped off to, well, thrown off to New York City. Wow, New York City landscape is really amazing. And here we are at Doctor Strange's little area with him and his friends from... I have heard that Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness has been pushed back to 2022, but I'm not really upset about it because I know that they're going to that they're going to do a great job. Sam Raimi's going to do a great job. And that's what we want to see. And there, and there's Bruce Banner. Title card. Here we go. Tony and Iron Man, Tony and Pepper. They're really talking about them in their own little day. <laughs> and he's talking, she's talking about his little arc reactor. Not strange. Tony, Tony, that there's an emergency. Ooh. 
boost mana. And now here they are talking about Thanos and what he intends to do. Here they are talking about what Thanos intends to do. <laughs> Tell him not to touch the artifacts. Time stone. Door. You're talking about timing. Like a being like the Beatles. That was really funny. I thought that was that's really cleverly written. And Bruce just Bruce trying to tell him they need to get the Avengers back together. These little conversations here. A lot of people say we don't get any development of all these heroes, but we've had Previous 18 other movies plus Captain Marvel to know who all these characters are, and Bruce is trying to call Steve Rogers, but he's not really. Well, Tony is trying to call him. I wonder who this one person could be watching. And they all realize that something is not good. And people are running. And so they all go outside to see what the damage is. Tony helps someone up, tell them all to get out. They're all getting in their cars and then Doc Strange is with them. Doc Strange is ready to fight with his powers. And you see how what is going to happen. Trust 
Chohan Mayberry says, I'm doing a marathon, Infinity Saga film marathon. I'm going to do Doctor Strange tomorrow, today or tomorrow, in chronological order. It's really nice. So now we have our introduction to Spider-Man and Ned and all the high school kids. As he, as Peter gets ready to leave, they all see what's happening. A cameo by the late Stan Lee. Rest in peace. One of his very last cameos ever. Next to Ant-Man, The Wasp, and Venom, and Spider-Man to Spider-Verse, and Captain Marvel. Two people watching. Okay. This goes well. We might, we, we may be doing Avengers Endgame today. All right. All in one live stream. Uh oh. Big bad guy. And Ebony Ma. How's it going, future filmmaker? In 3 out 4 8 0 Intelligent Cycle. Rest in peace, Stanley. I agree. I'm doing good, Intelligent Cycle. Earth is closed today. <laughs> Get lost, Squidward. This is one of one of my best, one of the best, my favorite lines of the last ten years. And it's all, also it's a nice reference to SpongeBob SquarePants, since I am a long-time SpongeBob fan. Here it is, Bruce Banner is trying to let the Hulk out, but he won't come out. No. <laughs> you can all see them in what he's trying to do. And Mark, Mark Ruffalo is really good in this movie. But Thanos screwed him up so bad that he can't do it. Tony's changing into his Iron Man armor. <laughs> Oh, shit. We are 21 minutes in to the movie. I love this new suit. Oh, they're throwing trees at them. Ascending. Benedict Cumberbatch's amazing casting is Stephen Strange, and Benedict Wong does a great job. What they're trying to do is protect the Time Stone in all costs away from him. Tony, Tony and Bruce are trying to talk. One of Ebony Ma's little minions is going around causing destruction in New York City, where my friend Jonathan just seven one nine eight five lives. <laughs> what do you mean, no? Wow. Spider Man is shown to save the day. Tom Holland. I know the MCU Spider-Man movies are pretty divisive, but to tell you the truth, I like them way more than, I, than the Andrew Garfield ones, because of these feel like Spider-Man movies. They, those feel like Spider-Man, besides the Sam Raimi ones, Unpopular Opinion, and uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. You see all this amazing action between Ebony Ma and Stephen Strange going on. And Ebony Ma can't get the 
time stone because Strange won't give it to her. He's got him tied up. This is pretty dark. There's a lot of dark moments in this PG-13 rated film. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) this, This is awesome. I love this. This is really nice. Pretty badass. And Spider Man is about to, is blowing up in space while Tony is struggling with. <laughs> Threw him right out in the snow. It's awesome. He's going. And Iron Man goes out to help Peter, who can't survive in space in his regular form. Ebony Ma has Strange. Stark Industries, a little surprise for Peter, going all the way up in space. Tom Holland, Robert Downey Jr. I love the father and son mentor relationship between these two. It's really great. Ooh, Iron Spider. I love it. And here they are trying to find Strange and find where to stop them. Tony is chopping the pepper. Peter hanging off for dear life. But yeah, intelligence cycle, I'm doing really nice here. Doing very nice. Phone call. And Bruce picks up. Yeah. <laughs> you feel like the call. Rubber band man playing in the background. And now we are in space with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Chris Pratt, Star Lord. <laughs> Drax, Singer, Sleep, Dave Batista, Zoe Zaldana, Gamora, Rocket Raccoon, Bradley Cooper, and Teenage Groot. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Mantis Fountain Machine. <laughs> Groot is just playing game. Here they are, and they see four falling down, free falling. I hope you all are enjoying this commentary. But yeah, I'm doing really well. And they are all, they just saved Chris on the roof and they're trying to see if he's alright. <laughs> this is a very nice moment here. Wow, 32 minutes in. Four is waking up to tell what is about to happen. Just the, this interaction between Thor and the Guardians of the Galaxy easily, you could tell there's a big setup for Guardians 3. Zoe so Zodana's talking about Thanos. Ah. 
how much time in space. You want the red one or the blue? I mean the purple. The purple one? between Wanda and Vision. This is a very nice romantic scene. I wish I was Vision right now. and then Paul Bettany vision. These performances are really great. New York is attacked. And here they are, Venus has Wanda. And... They're trying to take the, the milestone out of vision. Wanda is doing anything to take her man. It's very nice. See here. Mm-hmm. 
visioning one bad guys fighting each other, Wanda fighting approximately midnight. And she lives. During Royal Scotland. This action is very nice here. <laughs> nice action scenes. And this is really awesome. And she hears the sound vision and this fight between Paul Bettany and damn, she said hands off. Mm -hmm. It was protecting her. And here, this is where Cap, Cap to America, Black Widow show up. Vision is vi trying to see if Vision is it's okay. You asked me to say. He's saying. Very nice line. Elizabeth also delivers very well. Proxima is awesome here. And they're about to be attacked until trying. And Wanda turns to look and see what's going on. Steve. <laughs> Natasha. <laughs> Describe your hands. Falcon. Nice scene. Yeah, go back where you can. Yeah, they're gone. Scar Johansson, looking gorgeous. Anthony Mackie. And here you have a reunion between between these guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cuts black, and we see flashback with Gamora and her mother, which I think is one of the most emotional moments here. You see the attack that what's going on here? Which I think is very which I think is a very emotional moment. Thanos. This adds a lot to what's going on. This adds a lot to what will eventually happen when an adult version of Thanos and and um in Thanos.
46 minutes into this, 43 minutes into the movie. Oh, this is a very sweet moment between Thanos and Gamora. And she still has it. Now we're back into the present with Gamora and um, Star Lord. Thanos. Grenades are for. If things go wrong, if Thanos gets me. I want you to promise me you'll kill me. <laughs> if I know, I know something he doesn't. <laughs> if he finds it out, the entire universe. If I tell you, you will and just seeing with Chris Barnes or Zadana is one of the best scenes between Gamora and Gamora and um, Star Lord that I've ever witnessed. Here they share fascinating kids. Drax and they're looking. Who just <laughs> you serious? But he's uh, he's a little gray hair. Taj Mansis, Palm Fleamacy, Gorgeous Cutie Pie, and here we are. Nowhere. Here they are. Thanos talking to the collector, Benicio Del Toro, and he's and here they are trying to going after him. No people is watching. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and get some. I'm gonna try and get some people in for in game tomorrow.
Not yet. In dress. All his trying to screw up the plan. And, uh, the drags want to spend us more than anybody. Sign us. Here, 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 There's always a dollar and sign us fight. Didn't work. Gamora, we need to stop. It's not easy. You feel the emotion in the morals. It's always a dog's performance. It's very nice. Did he say that's our own? Basically using the using the using one of the stones to make it what your actual really is. Your stand-ups. Now reality stone. I count it. There's something I need to discuss with you. And he grabs Drax, trying to save her, turn him into blocks, turn Mantis into blocks. You let her go. Divorce. <laughs> Titan law killing <and> recall. <laughs> you promised. Shooter. I need truth. And he's take, and he's taking her with her. And he can't even shoot him because all his bubbles. Thanos, I like you. And she's gone, just like that. 
Drax and Mantis putting themselves back together. <laughs> wow. We're moving at such a fast pace with this film. Stark Industries. Don Cheadle, The War Machine, and William Ross. He's talking to William Ross, which I think this is a very nice moment. We just lost the person, so we're here to fight. And they all think that Tony is dead. You gotta love Captain America. Ant-Man and Ant-Man and Universe going to stop so he gets the vision stone and that's the story and here Wanda doesn't want to destroy the vision stone I'm not having this conversation. We take out the stone. Just so I'll go visit my. And 
deny Guru. Here they are. Wakanda landscapes is really beautiful here. And here, there is Bucky's new heart. Mm -hmm. I'm this way. Dr. Strange is now being is now kidnapped by Ebony Moss. And Ebony Moss is still trying to get the time stone. <laughs> No, I can't believe he said that bullshit. He just got to know he did with a white woman, too. Stephen Strange for the stone. Time. One thing. Tony, here's Tony I'm going to save Doctor Strange. <laughs> and they're trying to save him from being blasted out into space. watching so here we are hello ebony ma is blasted into space he's gone dr strange's cap dr strange is saved and here they are starting so, each other Peter, Dr. Strange. <laughs> <shake> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
The more and Thanos talking, and this is where. Here to talking right now, and he's about to show her who he has. And here he has never played I can go. And just this scene really does this is where Mm -hmm. 
again. He really just tortured Karen going like hell. This is a really hard moment in one of the most dark stones where he uses all the stones and to torture him with. But Nebula does get her revenge. Mm-hmm. And now we are with Thor and Groot and Mark of Alcum in spaceship. I'm a little quiet here. And Thor's, Thor's put his eye back in. Mm-hmm. 
Well, here there are where Peter Dinklage's character is, where he will provide um, Thor with his new, his new with Stormbreaker. The designs here are very nice. Devil here. Here we are in the devil here. That one person watching, I am. Hello. That's the part. Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage is there. That's uh -huh. is destroyed. Mm -hmm. Peter Dinklage. Here is Nebula putting her some packs together, but she's about to escape. Okay, going. Very brave, dedicated. Address. Dedicated to this part. Uh oh. Sending the distress call signal to Titan. We got two people watching now. Now we get to the nitty gritty. Titan. Thanos is home. And here we are. Titan. <laughs> I 
I don't want no pop culture reference out of you. The Guardians of the Galaxy. And here they are on Titan. We're almost done with this movie. Iron Man and Gamora, I mean Iron Man and Star Wars. Where's Gamora? Who is Gamora? May I ask you, what mass do you serve? Here, Thor and Peter Dinklage are talking. The King's Weapon, Storm Stormbreaker. Titan. Mantis in the background is jumping. Fourteen thousand, fourteen thousand six hundred and five.
Mm-hmm. If I tell you what happens, it won't happen. Here we are on the floor mirror. Gamora's death. And this is where the real events come into play. For your sister's sake, Gamora's already left. I mean, Nebula's already left, and she's coming for you, Thanos. The stone is up here, and you must be sacrificed. Red Skull is not who go leaving, but it is someone. Oh, the soul stone. You should know. I'm sorry, sir. I'm prepared. Yes. Red skull. Stone needs a sacrifice. A saw for a Judge you. Mm-hmm. You love no one. This last change between Gamora and Spanish is, is really heartbreaking. And it is also a very long time. Even when I first saw this, this destiny. Do that again. Um, Even um, for you. And he's getting ready to slog more. Yeah. 
Gamora down to take the Soul Stone. This is so nice about this. I'm sorry, what the way. And you could tell he didn't want to do it. Right? Try not. Don't cry. Don't cry. Sure, he's trying to say, trying to get the mind stone out of it. Against his awesome climax. Mm -hmm. 
Final battle. I need to soul some now. <laughs> Steve Wanda. I'm out of here. I'm gone. I didn't tell you shit. I'm gone. My girlfriend ready to be so high. It's about to go down. Be quiet. Be quiet. <laughs> He's pushing like a raccoon. Shut your fucking mouth. And Thor is just pushing Gary both doors so he can get him his Stormbreaker. Shut your fucking mouth. Shit is going. Be quiet. Okay? Here's go. Nobody's here. Mm -hmm. Be quiet. You understand? Know what's that? What's that? What's that person name? Hey. Oh, you got know you going to? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Josh. Can't wait a minute. Can't kill Okay, you gone? Mm -hmm. You doing that, you alright? Mm -hmm. You're watching the movie, too. Mm -hmm. You're watching. Perfect. Avengers. Sorry. Oh. What? You already got it down on your computer. Hmm. You already got it down on your computer? No, I just transfer it. Sorry. Oh, you transfer from the other one? Huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you should do a review on it. No, we no, we live. I'm live. I'm live. Yeah, we live. Oh. Can you hear me talking? No. Oh, okay. Okay, I need to talk. How many views you got? They're, they're going in and out as I'm, as I'm live. It's in and out, but... Okay, how many you got right now? No, none, but... We're still alive, but there's. Are you asking people what? Yeah, but they're, they're going in and out. As... Okay, that's crunchy people. What should you like the people doing on on YouTube? Like right now with quarantine, mm -hmm. they upload movies only on their YouTube on their page to making subscribers. Mm -hmm. Upload some of your favorite movies or something. I thought I was going to do it myself. I was going to upload a, you know, some 
Here it goes. Look on the fireball. <laughs> uh, now they're, they're opening the barrier and they're, fi they're fighting each other. Thanos' army. As more and more of Thanos' army comes and they all start to fight the Wakandans, Bucky, Captain Natasha. This, this final battle. Here. And they just uh, get right to it. So the fighting. And the Shuri here is trying to distract the. My stone from vision. Now we're back to Thor, where he is. And now Thor here is opening up the uh, is sending blast energy so he could get his brand new armor, which is Stormbreaker. He's telling Thor to hold it, and. <laughs> Here it comes. Here. He needs the axe. And then Groot is helping 
Vin Diesel is really great as his group. And there it is. And there is Stormbreaker. And is it the lightning crack sand Thor is back in business? Bruce and the Hulkbuster. Bucky's going uh, shooting around fighting. T'Challa and Captain America fighting War Machine and Falcon just shooting. He just got knocked down. Approximately midnight. This is one of the best final battles you you ever yeah you ever see in a comic book movie or movie in general. But we'll get to we'll get to the big one tomorrow we'll, tomorrow or possibly later on to today. <laughs> Their store, Rocket Raccoon, and Groot, Black Widow, he came just in time. Gummy fan offs. And now we're back on Titan, and Thanos has his showdown with the other guys. It's quiet now, but just hang on. And now in 46 minutes. Doctor Strange there talking to him. Star Lord, Spy, uh -huh. Real he's using the reality stone to show him how his home actually looked. I am an hour and 47 minutes into the movie. <laughs> Snap the fingers. I'll see soon, says. Then what? You hear fine? Iron Man. Woo! <laughs> 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 Iron Man and his friends. Iron Man, the, guard, the surviving guardians. Drax the Destroyer. Strange. Y'all take him down. Doctor Strange. <laughs> he gave him the middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> Spy is beaten down. Oof. 
just imagine when you first when I first saw the trailer, I was like, he's gonna choke the life house party, but he didn't. Then Iron Man, there, Thanos is doing everything he can to stop them all from getting in his way, but there's no. Spy is trying to get the Infinity Gauntlet off. Another one of my favorite MCU actresses, Karen Gillan. <laughs> Ooh. Karen gives a Gillan, she gives a really great performance here as Nebula, even though she's not in it that much. But she's in the fourth one, which we'll get to a lot more. <laughs> Mantis, and they all are holding him together. The motion capture CG work on him is very well well done. <laughs> and Chris Pratt. And see that Thanos, he's not really telling him where's Gamora. He's in anguish. He's mourning. Nebula is telling him. I like how Tony is telling Star Lord, Iron Man, telling Star Lord to calm down, but yet. Iron Man, when in Captain America Civil War, when we find out the twist about Tony's parents being killed by Bucky, Iron Man just didn't even calm down. So I like this little callback here. You're getting upset over Gamora's Gamora dying, but yet, all. Uh, all you have to do was just stay calm, Star Lord. So yeah, Star Lord just found out that the woman he loves is dead, and they, who, that energy, Iron Man, and Thanos are going head to head. He's bringing the heat. And he's using a lot of destruction to take to take all of them out. But Gamora, as Nebula said, that you should have killed. Him. You should have killed. Him. And it seems like the process is near near completion. And Wanda, Scarlet Witch, is just T'Challa, Rocket Raccoon is just shooting. <laughs> Of the place. <laughs> Woo. This is what not for sale. <laughs> Sorry, Rocket Raccoon, but you are not pretty good at this. <laughs> He's a tree. And Groots. And Steve Rogers. <laughs> she's and Wanda is going out to see what's going on after she, she's specifically been told to stay put, but you know how if you know how 
Scarlett Witches, you know she ain't gonna do that. They're just bringing more and more destruction to Wakanda. She was real, really, really beautiful in 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 the costume. The costume designers does a really good job. I'm still enjoying this. And here's Wanda. <gasps> Full Scarlet Witch mode here and Avengers in game. of midnight. We got a vision situation. Someone gets a vision. Some dialogue. She's not alone. It do, this does come. A certain situation like this, which says she's not alone, it does come back into play in the next one, which a lot of people just do not. Which a lot of people backlash, but I personally really love seeing all those the other MCU girls together and going. The Hulk Buster and the big giant monster fighting. He's trying to hulk out, but he's saying. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Here you have Thanos and Iron Man. Iron Man is doing everything with his powers trying to stop Thanos, but it's at this moment where both of them are fighting and he stabs Iron Man. Here he just stabbed Iron Man, and it's it's like when I first saw it, it was back in 2018. We did did stabbing Iron Man. It had, just had me in shock, in shock, because you think that Iron Man is going to be the one to die, and that does come into play into the fourth Avengers movie when you do get to the end of it, because that one is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when our man does die, die, it does that does come into play into Avengers in the game. Here is Doctor Strange. He's he's spare. He told telling Thanos to spare Doctor Strange's life. And now he just has one stone left. Mm -hmm. And they still try, but he disappeared. Back in Wakanda with T'Challa and all the other superheroes firing off Thanos' army. He's here. Thanos is showed up in Wakanda. Thank <laughs> you. 
here Thanos is fighting off the Hulkbuster. Stop. Bruce in the Hulk in the Hulkbuster. Let's try and stop Captain America T'Challa. It's at this moment here where Scarlet realizes that she has to basically sacrifice, remove the mind stone from the vision. And you can tell by the look on her face and her crying, she doesn't want, want to lose him, but basically no other option. Groot, teenage version of Groot is trying to help him. They all are, but it's kind of impossible to do because he is at this moment where we do get into the what is basically getting ready to happen. Last man, Cap is the last man standing until ooh. And she's trying to hold both. Hold on, but okay. Okay. You couldn't have. And here it is, where Thanos is about to reverse what just happened and basically take the mind stone from a vision. And now he has all the stones. Yeah. 
bunch of it's a bunch of scenes What's up in it? What you doing? Oh, Snap. And now Thanos is in the in the alternate reality with Gamora. Which we would have a scene like this in Avengers Endgame with Tony and Morgan, but they cut it out because it's too confusing and also because they say the Captain Life is kind of stiff, but I disagree with that. What did it cost? Everything. And there it is. And this is where you realize they lost. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the post credit scene because I do not want to see them get disintegrated. Now we're at the post credit scene where Cap, where we, Maria Hill and Fury. Basically, everyone is disintegrating. Half the universe is gone. Maria Hill and Maria Hill and Nick Fury is being disintegrated, and it just leaves him. And he, there he is getting pager out. And the pager. You know what this means, guys. We zoom right in with the pager and the red, the yellow, and blue. Captain Marvel. All right, so there you have it for Avengers Infinity War, the live act audio commentary. Thanos returns in Avengers Endgame. And that one, stick around, because that one will be coming soon. If not later on, then probably tomorrow. Because, yeah, I just, I just saved y'all the trouble of not seeing the the disintegration. I saved me the trouble. But the reason why I did skip away to that moment is because every time I do rewatch the ending of Infinity War, when it gets to all those who gets wiped out, it just leaves bad it just gives me more of a frustrating vibe. So 
With that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the audio commentary. Be sure to follow me on social media links in the description box down below. If you want to donate some money to the chime, my chime, you can message me probably do that. And if you want to send a fan mail, you can do that as well. So I'll see you guys in the next commentary for tomorrow or later on, which is Avengers in the game. You guys keep cool and join the Epitaphs. This is Future Filmmaker 3940 Reviews signing out.